On the Carry the Load Relay, this is a national movement making its way from Seattle to Dallas to honor both military and first responders. Our own Team 12's Matt Uris is joining us from the National Memorial Cemetery as the organization makes their stop right here in Phoenix. Good morning, Matt. Good morning, Trisha. This has been such a cool thing to learn about this morning. You said carry the load. You can take a look at their logo right there to my right as I introduce Debbie Lee. Uh, your son was killed in action uh, in what turned out to be a, a very high profile mission years ago. We're going to we'll talk about that in just a moment. First, kind of explain the mission for Carry the Load today, 10 years in. Yeah, you bet. It's been awesome to be uh, working with Carry the Load for the last 10 years through our foundation and individually. But the mission is the real meaning of what Memorial Day is about. I think we tend to forget as a nation, I wasn't raised, I wasn't taught what the real meaning. And you look behind us, you know, at all these uh, grave markers here, reminding us the price of the freedom that is paid every single day by the blood of our men and women who serve. And I think it's important to remember on Memorial Day, the real meaning is to honor and remember, not celebrate, it's not Happy Memorial Day, but we're honoring and remembering those who fell in combat for the freedoms we enjoy every day. And to do that right now, Carry the Load has participants throughout the Phoenix area converging on the cemetery. Talk about their journey um, and uh, what this means. They go towards Dallas to celebrate with people across the country doing this right now. We've actually got four legs across the United States that have these buses and the relays that are going every single day, walking or biking to do that very thing, to honor and remember the sacrifice of our men and women who served. And these participants, to make it clear for our audience, will stop at different national cemeteries throughout the country to pay their respects and ultimately meet in Dallas on Memorial Day weekend for what promises to be hundreds, if not thousands of people uh, honoring, as you say, remembering the importance of that sacrifice. Speaking of sacrifice, let's get to your son, introduce him to the audience, what he did and then how he's been remembered and, and affected thousands, millions of people. So my son Mark Lee was the first Navy SEAL that was killed in Iraq August 2nd, 2006. That young man willingly stood out in the direct line of fire three times that day to save his teammates. And uh, many people probably know who Jocko is. He was their task unit commander. Uh, Chris Kyle was with Mark when he died. And Chris and I became so close. He was like a son to me. And so it was a double whammy losing him. But Mark's one of that main characters portrayed in that movie. But um, I know where Mark is. He was redeployed to heaven. I will see that kid again one day. But we started our foundation, America's Mighty Warriors, to continue to support our troops, our veterans, our Gold Star families. We will be bringing 75 Gold Star family members into Dallas. They'll be joining us at Carry the Load before we take them out to East Texas for a week-long retreat. And it's, it's amazing to be able to support those families. I understand that loss. I understand that sacrifice. I didn't have any choice in the news that was given to me, but I did have a choice how I responded. My choice was to put on Mark's boots, pick up his weapon, and stay in the fight for every man and woman who served, stay in the fight for every other veteran, but especially for our Gold Star family members to be able to support them. As an Army brat, I really couldn't be uh, more appreciative for what you're doing, your words this morning. And Tricia and our audience listening at home, she made reference of it there. Chris Kyle, of course, uh, portrayed in American Sniper, a huge movie that swept the nation about seven years ago. So your son, his team lives on in multiple ways, even to this day. They say uh, here with the organization, you die twice, once here on earth, and then when someone stops telling your story. So that's the point of this, to make sure we keep telling these stories so that second death doesn't happen. With that, back to you, Tricia.